So, Senator Marshall, I know you fought hard for it. Uh, Israel needs it. Hamas is trying to kill them. Why did Democrats block this? What's going on here? Well, that's a great question, Larry. Um, I, th I think number one is we got to show them their true callers. We showed America the Democrats' true callers last night. They, uh, we, uh, we called their bluff for once. For over a month, Republicans have been calling for a vote on standalone legislation for Israel funding. And the Democrats saying, oh, yes, we want to help Israel, but, we, but they always wanted to leverage it for Ukraine funding to make the border more open, to bring more people across the border. But we found a way to seize control of the Senate floor and demand this vote. And 51 Democrats, every one of them, voted against funding for Israel. What's ironic is that 2 p.m., Chuck Schumer's on the National Mall saying, we will not rest until Israel gets its aid. But at 6 p.m., he votes against that. Uh, you're a better political analyst than I am, but I think that they're, they're, they are, their base is calling to support um, not Israel, that their base does not want to support Israel, right. that instead they're going to support Palestine. Well, and I, finally, we got, we got them to show their callers. Well, Senator, I made the point last night. I mean, I, I, the, the 300,000... Jewish, uh, you know, rally was fabulous, fabulous, and there was some bipartisanship, but I saw Senator Schumer make his case, and I knew darn well he was going to stop you. I knew it, because they want to tie it to Ukraine, and I don't think, that, by the way, they're afraid to give up a couple of IRS agents. I mean, um, you know, the Speaker's idea of a pay-for... Uh, is uh, Mike Johnson is not the worst thing in the world. They haven't really even started using those agents yet. So there's there's that too. Why not pay for some of this stuff for a change? Right, and certainly they had every alternative. And I asked them on the floor, if you don't like this, pay for find another one. But give us a vote for the Israel aid. Time is of the essence. We need to send a message to Iran and all the proxies that enough is enough, and America is not going to tolerate terrorism. We're not going to tolerate these brutal, savage attacks by Hamas on Ira on on uh, Israelis or on anybody for that matter. That this is a war for humankind. So instead, Chuck Schumer sent a message last night to Iran and the proxies. Go ahead. There's no red line. Is there a new vote scheduled or what? What happens next? Because Israel needs the money. They need to replenish, as you well know, the Iron Dome, the ammunition, the ordinance, whatever it takes. Uh, they could use the $14 billion. Uh, next vote, Senator? It'll be months that because Joe Biden is insisting on tying this to a supplemental vote that funds Ukraine, that makes the border more right. open as well, and Taiwan funding. And I'm telling you, we're no closer today on that vote than we were a month ago. That even if within the Democrat caucus, they're divided on what to do with each one of these issues. And what the Senate does is dead on arrival in the House and vice versa as well. That's why we need the standalone Israel funding passed yesterday. John Tester in Montana voted with Schumer to stop the Israel funding. Oh, say that say that again, Larry. Senator John Tester of Montana. Oh, yes. He voted with the majority. Sure. I just do want to clarify that. We had Steve Daines yes. on talking about elections coming That's up right. in the Senate. So I want to clarify. Last one, Senator Marshall. Um, thanks for this. Can you get a resolution on the floor of the Senate that says no money for Iran. In other words, we're not going to give money to Israel. How about not giving Iran $10 billion of unfrozen assets? How about that? Let's, uh, let's well, not give Iran any, mo any money at all. Yeah, well, just the opposite is happening. You know, yesterday we found out that the Biden administration is letting go another yeah. $10 billion yeah. of Iran. Uh, we, we don't stop any of their ships. Their ghost fleet is, in, is increasing. They're selling a billion dollars of oil every week to China. So just the opposite has happened under Joe Biden. Look, you can't be pro-Israel and pro-Iran. You have to choose which team you're rooting for. Joe Biden says he's with Israel, but everything he does says he's for Iran. Thank you, Senator Marshall. We appreciate it, sir. Thank you.